day number one of attempting to use my deck while the goose is here. They've come there almost every single year now. Maybe tomorrow, buddy. Day number two of attempting to use my deck while the goose is here. I thought today that my goose looked a little parched, so I decided to give her some water. Nothing but the best for Hillary. They always seem to come and they always nest in that same flower pot. I'll leave you to it, Hillary. Day number three. Turns out she didn't like her water too much. She hasn't even touched it. This will give me more reach than just my bare hands to get the bowl back. All right, perhaps I will not be getting the water today. Sorry for disturbing you, Hillary. Day number four of attempting to use my deck while the goose is here. I thought today I might cook myself up a nice tasty snack. You might be wondering where Hillary's maid is every day. Hank hangs out right over there, just about every day. Are those eggs I see? Even when Hillary leaves her pot, I do tend to feel someone's still watching me. Day number five might not be a deck day. Stay dry, Hillary. Stay dry. Day number six of attempting to use my deck when the goose is here. Oh wait, we have geese now. It's plural, not singular. Welcome to the world, little goslings. I guess we won't be barbecuing on our deck anytime soon. Day number seven. Hello, Hank. Those babies look a bit hungry. Need I remind you that I only give the best to my geese? Let's see how they like this. I think the babies thought it was supposed to be a swimming pool. Hillary? Day number eight. The geese have now fully taken over the deck. I guess it's no longer my deck. Now that the babies have hatched, it's time for wildlife to relocate them to their pond. Could that be them? Until next year, geese. Until next year.